Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of statistics. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us, let the median and the mean deviation about the median that is given to us here as 170 and 205 over 7 respectively. And they have also told us the 7 observations are there and they are 170, 125, 190, 210, 230, A and B. So these are the 7 observations given to us and we have been given median and mean deviation about the median. And the question is asking us to figure out the mean deviation about the mean of this seven observations. So we have been asked to figure out that. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been presented here, the options are 31, 28, 30, and 32. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I'd first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible so you understand them in a better way. Let's see how to solve this question further. So I have been given that the median for this list of seven observations is 170 and I have seven observations given. So my middle term should be 170. So if I arrange my terms in the ascending order, my central term should be 170. And since there are seven observations, there should be three terms below the median and three terms above the median. So if I see three terms above 170, I already have them 190, 210 and 230. So if I write them, I get this. 190, 210, 230. So all the other three should be below the median. So the other three terms that I have here is 125, A and B. So these are the three terms. I don't know whether they are in ascending order or not because I don't know the values of A and B. Now let's figure out. I know the median of this is uh, 170. So if I have to find the mean deviation of the terms, about the median. So if I have to find the mean deviation of this seven observations about the median, what I can do is from this median, I can subtract all the observations that are present. So let's first find the deviation. So from 170, I'll subtract all of them. So 170 minus 125, which is 45. This becomes 170 minus A. This becomes 170 minus B. This becomes 0. This becomes 170 minus 190. So that if I see mean deviation about the median. So deviation, I know it's basically nothing but the difference. How much is the difference? So 190 minus 70, which is basically 20. Then about the median. So 210 minus 170, which is 40. And 230 minus 170, which is 60. So deviation means basically we are figuring out how much is the difference and the difference should always be positive because it's just the deviation. So if I find the mean deviation about this median, I'll add all of them, all the deviations and find the mean for that entire deviations list that I have. So if I add all of them, divided by 7, it's equals to, I have been given it, in the question that mean deviation about the median is 205 over 7. So this entire thing divided by 7 is equal to 205 over 7. 7, 7 cancels each other. So if I see how to add them, 170 plus 170, 340, 400, 440, 460, 
zero as it is and forty five. So five zero five. So five zero five minus a minus b equals two zero five. So if I bring this two zero five on the other side, five zero five minus two zero five is three hundred. Minus a minus b on the other side. If I take it, a plus. B. So I get this equation that sum of the two terms a and b is three hundred. Now once I have the sum of the two terms a and b as three hundred, let's solve for the question that is asked to us. So we have been asked to find the mean deviation about the mean of these seven observations. So first, let's find the mean because I don't know the mean in the question. So if I try to figure out the mean of these seven observations that I have, so mean if I figure out, I have my observations added up. So one twenty five plus a plus b, then you had one seventy, one ninety, two ten, and two thirty. So these were your seven observations, dividing them by seven. So if I figure out this, I know already a plus b now. So I don't need individual values of a and b. I know a plus b is three hundred from the previous equation, so I can put one twenty five plus three hundred plus one seventy plus one ninety plus two ten plus two thirty divided by seven. So if I see one ninety plus two ten, this is four hundred. This is six thirty. Seven hundred, eight hundred. This is eleven hundred, and this is twelve hundred and twenty five. Divided by seven, so seven ones is seven. Five, so fifty two seven sevens is forty nine. Thirty five seven fives is thirty five. So I get the mean of this seven observations, and that is one seventy five. Now once I have that, the question is asking me to figure out the mean deviation about the mean. Now, so if I have been asked to find the mean deviation about the mean, let's figure out that as well now. So mean deviation about the mean. If I have been asked, I will add all of my deviations about the mean and divide it by seven. So if I have my terms here, I had one twenty five first. So if I write my terms first, so it becomes easy for us. So one twenty five a b one seventy one ninety two ten and two thirty, and we got the mean for the list as one seventy five. So if I find the deviations for all of them. So one twenty five is fifty units up away from one seventy five. For A and B, I can write one seventy five minus A and one seventy five minus B because both of the values of A and B are less than one seventy. This becomes one seventy five minus one seventy, which is five. This one ninety minus one seventy five, so fifteen. This becomes two ten minus one seventy five, which is thirty five, and this becomes two thirty minus one seventy five, which is fifty five. So I have all of these deviations now. Again, if I want to figure out mean deviation about the mean, so I'm adding all of them. So 50 plus 175 minus a plus 175 minus b plus 5 plus 15 plus 35 plus 55. So I get from here 55 and 35. That is 90. This is 100 and 110. 110 and 50 is 160 and One seventy five plus one seventy five is three fifty. So one hundred and sixty plus three fifty, five hundred and ten minus a plus b divided by seven. So you get five hundred and ten minus a plus b is three hundred divided by seven. That gives me two ten divided by seven. And two ten if I'm dividing it by seven, seven one seven three. So I get the answer as thirty. So I get the answer for the question as mean deviation about the mean as thirty. And if I see the answer choices that matches here with the question, it is option C. So C becomes the answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the concepts of statistics. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic, and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE, so they can also take the benefit from these questions that we are solving on everyday basis.
Thank you.